Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to my Champions League draw reaction. The group stage draw has just taken place uh, in Monaco. And yes, we have got a very tough draw, haven't we? Paris Saint-Germain, Napoli and Red Star Belgrade will be Liverpool's opponents as we look to go one better than last season and try and win this Champions League in Madrid. Um, as the draw was taking place, there was that Group A that I was dreaming of. I was dreaming of going to Atletico Madrid's new stadium. I was dreaming of Dortmund that I didn't get to go in 2016. And I was dreaming of Bruges, who weren't even in the draw by the time um, Liverpool's name came out. But I wanted that as the last one. So Monaco are so lucky um, from that pot three to have Atletico Madrid, Dortmund and Bruges. We've got PSG, Napoli and Belgrade. Um, OK. Let's start from a... Qualification point of view, can we get through this group? Of course we can. We beat Napoli, what was it, 5-0? I can't even remember, in pre-season the other, the other week. Um, but ignoring that, we can beat them home and away. Um, they're a great side. Their results so far in, in Syria prove that. They've won away at Lazio and at home to AC Milan already. Their squad is very strong. Obviously, new management. Um, an old fur in Carlo Ancelotti. It'll, it'll be, I mean, it'll be very tough out there in Naples, not just from a hostility point of view, but they have obviously got some quality players. But we will feel like we can go out there and give them a good game. I mean, Paris Saint-Germain have got to be among the favourites for the tournament. Um, Neymar, Mbappé, Cavani, you, the, the list goes on. Um, the battle of the front three. It's been such a long time since we've played PSG. I think 1997, the last time we met in competitive competition when they knocked us out of the Cup Winners' Cup. But here we are. That is a glamour tie. That is a magnificent... For, for, a, for a pot one versus pot three clash... PSG versus Liverpool, it doesn't get much bigger than that. I mean, what a night that's going to be at Anfield, seeing all those stars. You know, Neymar, um, after he came here in the summer for a game uh, at Anfield, Brazil, Croatia, is going to be back. Kylian Mbappé's going to be here for the first time. Um, and Belgrade, I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, it's it's kind of the rogue one. The, the, the pot four team is always the rogue one in terms of it's, you know, you get someone like Pulsen or Athens or Young Boys or Galatasaray or, you know, but, I mean, Spurs have been lucky enough to get Milan. And Spurs have got Barcelona, Eindhoven and Milan as their three trips. I mean, that is gorgeous, even though it's a tough group. Um, Naples, I mean, has, have any of you been to any of these cities? I've been to Paris in 2004 um, as a kid on a school trip. Never been to Naples, never been to Belgrade, never been anywhere really that, that sort of way in Europe. So, yeah. Obviously, we should beat Red Star Belgrade. If you look at their results and domestically, um, last season, played 30, won 25, drawn four, lost one, 77 points. Um, you know, 12 points clear of Partizan Belgrade. I mean, obviously, it's the bloody Serbian Super League, but, you know, they, they know how to win games. They, they, they should, I mean, they should be the whipping boys, but you never know. You never know. Um, we've, stranger things have happened. But, yeah, I mean... What can I really say? I mean, the, the PSG, PSG are winning games for fun in, in France. Um, that sometimes is their shortfall in Europe. You know, they haven't been able to, to get past, well, haven't been able to get as far as they, they wanted to in, in Europe. They've wanted to won, win the competition by now. They haven't been able to do so. They lost to Real Madrid last season, as did we, as I uh, have been reminded. But yeah, we, I mean, if you're going to set the odds, for qualification, I think we would be second favourites. I know Napoli are very strong, and I'm not underestimating them. You know, I mean, there won't be much in it at all. They're, they're at a similar level to us. But, you know, we went all the way in Europe last year, you know, um, until Karius did, did his thing. Um, no, that's, that's harsh. But, you know, we, we went all the way to, the, to Kiev, to the final. We know how to beat the biggest and best sides, beat Man City over two legs, you know, comfortably. Um, and yeah, I mean, we were unbeaten, weren't we? In um, until until Roma away, we were unbeaten in 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 the competition. So we've improved the squad, we've improved the defence. Um, we've got that now, so we know what it's like to go there and um, succeed in Europe and the Jurgen Klopp. Been to two finals, so I think you would fancy us to. I think you know the odds would suggest we're probably looking at finishing second here, but I mean there's no reason why we can't go to Paris and uh, show that we've got the best front three in Europe rather than them. Um, so we're having to wait now for the fixtures to actually come out in terms of the dates. Very stressful for a man like me that wants to go to all the games. Um, you've got this kind of two hour wait and, and the, the flight prices are going to go up and um, do, you, do you go for a road trip to Paris? One of my mates has suggested we go on a road trip. Do you get the Eurostar? Do you fly? Naples um, isn't you know, there's not millions of flights from London to Naples, but yeah, that should be okay. I mean, I'm expecting about 200 quid maybe. I know it's 90 at the moment. Belgrade's going to be the expensive one. Some people are talking about getting the um, 
plane to Bucharest and then a train to to Belgrade. I mean, any tips would be welcome. Um, obviously, I've not got much holiday time left at work, so away away games I want to have to only take two days off maximum. I mean, if I can go there on a Tuesday night and come back Wednesday morning in for work, then great. I mean, that's probably doable for Paris and maybe Naples, um, especially Paris. Um, but yeah, I mean, there you go. Though That is the draw. I mean, honestly, tell me what you think. This, this video is basically, I'm waffling because what insight can I provide? I don't watch any of these teams on a weekly basis. I've seen a bit of Napoli, obviously, in Serie A last season. Uh, we, we all know what PSG are about with all their star players, but I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a league on enthusiast. And I know absolutely no players that play for um, Belgrade. So um, that's going to be interesting. You know, last year we came on here, we had Lokomotiv Moscow. Um, Sevilla and Maribor and we were coming on like buzzing we're already through and we made a bit of a meal of it in, in, in fairness but you know here we are here we are it, it went down to the last day last time out and obviously we got through that and went on to, to the final beating Porto and I mean I really wanted Porto I, I saw Moscow in there with Porto and I was like Do you know what I'm happy to go to Moscow for means I can go to Porto as well because Porto in February last year was just the best trip and I wanted to do that again but it is what it is. We're lucky that we're in this competition. We should be embracing it. I mean, you know, PSG at Anfield under the lights, um, 50 plus thousand people round inside Anfield. What an atmosphere that's going to be. Um, so, yeah, I'm still waiting for these fixtures to come out. I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing. We've got the Carabao Cup draw coming up in 20 minutes' time. Let's see who we get in that as well. Obviously, I'm going to put this video up in the meantime. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. So follow me on Instagram. I did an Instagram live as the, as, um, the draw was going on. Um, and yeah, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, all of that. Make sure you're up to date with all of that. And subscribe here if you haven't already. It's been a pleasure. And let's see what the fixtures are when they come out. I'll see you soon.